Hey everybody, it's Miss Gately here. Um, today I am going to uh, teach you a new song. Um, today we're going to work on a song that I like to do in the springtime, right around the time when baseball season is starting, or usually starting, and so we're going to learn Take Me Out to the Ball Game. So this is probably a new song for um, most of you, unless uh, you're a fifth grader, maybe you learned it in, in fourth grade last year. Um, but I'm going to post the music. The music will be posted on the um, Making Music Matters website. All right, so all that stuff will be on there. But we're going to go over it together today. Um, so Take Me Out to the Ball Game is in the key of G, which has F sharp. So that means every F in this song is going to be sharp. So it's labeled in there. But if you remember, our F sharp is just our first finger on the top. Nothing in the back. My thumb is underneath. Just your first finger. Okay, sounds like this. And if you have questions on any fingerings, you can also look at the fingering charts that are uploaded to the website, or you can check out our first um, videos that were review, the first five notes, our low notes, stuff like that. Um, okay, so that's our F sharp. We start on a very low G, so don't forget we have that low G is one, two, and three down the top, plus your thumb, one, two, and three on the bottom, okay? We have low Gs and high Gs, so make sure you look in your music where the low note is coming in, where the high note is in the staff. So you'll see, I'll show you on the music here and you'll see on your paper, we have our low G right here is underneath the staff, really low. High G or our regular G is in the staff up there. All right, we have a couple other notes that you might um, need to review the fingerings on. We have a D sharp and that's written down in the bottom. Um, there's two ways to play D sharp. Okay, so it says new notes. D sharp and you have your first finger and thumb plus your first finger on the bottom it says D sharp is the same as E flat so it's the same note so you've also learned probably two different ways to play E flat or maybe you have a different way the one that's on the sheet is your thumb in the back first finger first finger on the bottom okay so you can play E flat like that Another way, which I have taught most of my students, and the way that I like to do it, and we'll do it in this video, is your thumb in the back, one and two, so like your note D, plus this little side key on the bottom. So we learned that for Sansa Chroma for some of you. So we have that bottom side key. You use the side of your finger, it sounds like this. So that's two different ways to play D sharp or E flat, okay? So it's called D sharp in the music, it's the same note as E flat. And lastly, one other um, note that we have to pay attention to is our C sharp, at the end of the song, we have a C sharp. So we've done this this year, but we have our thumb in the back, one, two, three, just like your C and your pinky on this little key that's going across underneath. So pinky there, nothing on the bottom. C sharp sounds like this. Okay. So those are the notes to watch for. We have some low G's we already talked about. We have our low A, which we know you can go to that low note video to review. All our B's are B natural, regular B, not B flat. So it's one, two, and three plus your second finger on the bottom. Okay, so be aware of those. We're gonna do this in two different sections. So I'm gonna play the first section, um, then give you a chance to follow along and then pause the video, you can play it. Then I'll play the next section at the end and I'll play the whole thing. All right, so here's part one of Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Starting on that low G. I'll stand up so you can see my fingers. So that was part one, goes down to that low G on the third line, at the beginning of the third line. Okay, so maybe pause the video, check that out, practice that, come back, figure, fix any fingerings you need to. Again, watching those F sharps, and we had that D sharp, same as E flat, one and two plus the side key. All right, here's part two. I'm going to start at the beginning of the third line on that low G that I just ended on has a low G, then a high G. 
song goes so you'll know those rhythms but keep in mind we have dotted half notes at the end which are three beats each we also have some quarter rests um, on the second to last and the last line so quarter rests are one beat each think about how the song goes and use um, figure out your rhythms that way so I'm gonna play it all the way through feel free to pause the video do whatever you need to do to practice in between here's take me out to the ball game from the beginning <laughs> you have listened to this a couple times practice along with your fingerings then your own practice you can try playing along with the whole thing at the end all right thanks for watching we'll see you next time